Hello again, in this video I'll be um, trying to fix the azimuth bolts down here and uh, as you may have noticed the lighting in this room is terrible when it gets dark I think we sort of need some new light bulbs at the minute so that will be fixed soon um, Yeah, I just need to check what's going on with these bolts at the bottom especially for azimuth bolts because when I was outside, um, how long is it now? A few days ago, I, I was trying to pull the line this for like, the first time, um, and the bolts just wouldn't go far enough. So what I'm going to do in this video, so have a little look at what's happening. So I'll have to take this off, I'll have to take the mount off the tripod, and yeah, see how the video goes from there. Yeah, I found out these were absolutely fine, the azimuth bolts were fine, I thought they might have been bent or something, or something was in the way, like an obstruction, which all I had to do was just add more grip by, well, I, as, as, as you've seen in some of my videos, I've put these gloves on, which give me a bit more grip on my hands, because then the, your hands are exactly the grippiest thing in the world. These ones are really grippy, these gloves are. And now I'm just going to have to rebalance everything and I'll probably just collimate it because what else have I got to do? And I'll, you see the problem is, another problem as usual, um, the telescope is hitting the tripod. Just like that, and that's a slight problem, don't you think, really? So, yeah, I'm gonna have to find a fix for that. I've uh, just like trying to position it right while it's tracking so then it doesn't run into them. Or, this is a more expensive option, to get a tripod fit. That basically is just a metal tube, but brings you mount a bit higher than it already is to stop big long scopes like this which is a thousand millimeter focal length for whatever you want to say it thousand millimeters and um, now I'm just gonna have to balance it again and collimate it so uh, I'll see you after Once you've got the equipment that you need it on, in my case, literally just a camera, which, which is quite heavy because it's a Canon 7D Mark One, and weighs an absolute ton. Once you've done that, you can now balance your telescope. First of all, you want to put it like this. So you want to put it at the top of your mount, so then the mount's pointing upward. Not downward because you don't want to look down because you want to look up and um, put the scope sideways just like this what you want to do is be able to open this without the telescope deciding it wants to go in a different direction in my case it does see as you can see it's top heavy that's why the top end is going down that's with weight of the camera as well so top end's going down, 
what you want to do to solve this is to move your telescope along using these little rails here these two if you're on a Newtonian pardon me um, if you're if you're using a Newtonian like me what you want to do is just simply unscrew these a bit just a bit make sure it doesn't fall out but either way I'll just put your shoulder underneath it anyway And as it's top heavy, I want to move it that way. Move it along the inside of the tube. Then just make a small adjustment because a big adjustment won't really do anything. Just do, just do nice small adjustments until you've got it. Right, well that, that seems uh, pretty nice and tight. Then if I let go of this, as you can see, it perfectly balances. And in case you've done that and it's not balanced, you could do it many times over. You just do it to um, just do it again and again and again. It's a small process. You just keep moving it along the um, holders here until you get that perfect balance. That's how you do the top half. So the, this movement of the scope, I don't know what you call it or anything. So that's done. Now, you want to move on to the more fun part. No, it's not, it's the same. So it's unscrewing this bolt down here. And you want to move the telescope to its side like that and as you can see telescope is top heavy telescope is more heavy than the mount no the thingy the weights so i want to fix that so telescope is heavier i want to move these counterweights outwards more so just tighten that again I'll probably just put this up, upright, actually, no. Put it, put the, t the scope itself any way you want. I'll say just move the counterweights back a bit, and then see how that goes. As you can see now, the counterweights are heavier than the scope. The centre of gravity is further over here than over there. So what you want to do in this case, move them that way. Just a touch, because if you do it too much, you won't go anywhere. You'll just be back at the beginning. So I'm only going to use move one. And that seems That seems absolutely fine. Well, I'm just lucky to have got it balanced so quickly. For others, it might take an hour or so, but it's just something you're gonna do and deal with, I'm afraid. So, yeah. That is fixing more problems and balancing your scope. And with that, it's time to end. Please subscribe if you really want to and make sure to have a really nice day. Clear skies everyone.